Einen schönen guten Tag aus dem Europäischen Parlament. Ich werde heute auf Englisch zu Ihnen sprechen, aus gutem Grund. The other day, David Cameron laid out Britain's conditions for remaining in the European Union. I recently was invited to speak to a group of Labour supporters on that very subject. But instead of holding a most likely boring speech, I decided to compose a short poem. And I'd like to share it with you. It's called the Brexit poem. The Brexit is, to put it simple, not like an ordinary pimple. You take some cream, you put it on, a few days later it is gone. It is a complicated matter, more like a novel, not a letter. To understand the story well, you've got to listen. I will tell you what may happen, so sit back and let me wrap it. Some 50 years ago in France, that will be history at a glance, the leader there, Monsieur de Gaulle, did not like Britain, not at all. The Brits, he said, of course in French, are maritime and very strange. If London were to join the six, the group would be a crazy mix. And guess who then would pull the strings? It's Washington, or so he thinks. Macmillan, that old British brand, was furious, excited, and dismissed the outcry out of hand. The goal is stupid, he retorted to Kennedy, who then escorted another lady from the room because John F. was not her groom. A lot of years have since gone by, the Brits have joined, but always sly, they picked what better suited them. They ate the cake and kept the cream. Now, some of them want out again and play that decade-old refrain. Unless a better deal is reached, the Union Jack will look like bleached. But without Britain, that is clear, Europe will lose. I hope you hear. It's like a pillar coming down. It will be felt in every town from Paris all the way to Kiev, and not a sighing of relief. The message, therefore, is no way, no way, no way. Great Britain, she must stay. Until next time, bis zum nächsten Mal, Ihr Eugen Freund.